last week's show with my Pogo Plug review, speaking of saving some cash, all of you started emailing us with alternatives. The most interesting was this one from James. He writes, Opera has Opera Unite, which allows you to share your files over the internet. It does pretty much the same thing as Pogo Plug, except it's free. You just need to have it running on your PC. Well, this is very true. Let's take a quick look at how it works. Um, make sure you have Opera installed, of course, and then you want to go to the Unite tab here on the left-hand nav. If you don't already have one, you're going to need to set up a, a user account and password. Then just choose which applications you want to use or install uh, the ones that you want. So we can see here we've got the uh, media player app installed, the photo sharing app installed, and the media server. You also have to pick a dedicated folder on your hard drive that you're going to put all your media in, or you can select which folders you already have that contain all your music or, or videos or files that you want to be able to share. Do we need Opera at the other end to be able to access no, all this? No, you can really? use any browser in order to view the media, the content oh, cool. that's on here. So you don't the the person receiving the files so the does not will need still to have. Work with it. Yeah, I, I guess. Of. Yeah, I think the iPhone would work. I haven't tested that actually. Oops, sorry. <laughs> well, that's okay. <laughs> we'll test it out at some other point. Um, so here's the photo sharing. I just made one file and stuck all the media in there. And you can see this little sample photo. And then you get a link that you can share on Twitter or Facebook or any other the file sharing sites or, or link sharing sites or email, whatever you need. And then if you want to be able to edit or add to this content, the person uh, needs a password. And so like here we have a password for... Where's the photo sharing? I'm still tripping at the idea of a browser that has a server with an, an administrative like remote access account built into it by the people. Like Opera is like, you guys have a lot of time to code at Opera. You amaze me sometimes. Yeah, it's really cool. And so here we can either make this public or we can do private with a password and they can send messages to the owner of the account if they want to. And then you just click on the file. You can either download it or if you go to the media streamer. <laughs> Isn't that nice? The interface looks a little bit different when you're coming at it from the other side, but this Got is it. what you see on, on your side of things. Um, yeah, it's pretty secure, and you're basically limited to whatever size your hard drive is, because you're not plugging in external hard drives like you would with a pogo plug. Well, you could. You're just you using could. this as, you could, yeah. I don't know how, how good the streaming would be if you did it that way. It, it might be as fast as the pogo plug, but I don't know if they somehow optimize the streaming within the Pogo Plug unit versus just having it on your, you on your laptop You could put multiple SSD drives inside your desktop PC to maximize, um, obviously. Yeah. He's getting ahead of himself. <laughs> <laughs> if you're worried about the bandwidth usage, though, you can set restrictions in the advanced setting menu. Um, and best of all, it's free. You can learn more at unite.opera.com. <laughs>